Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I wanted to show you a quick video on the difference between lower light and brighter light when propagating your Rex begonias, um, particularly in water because that seems to be the easiest way for most people. Um, and I know if you've been following along, you've seen a lot of these videos where I am, have placed them permanently or at least for a while into full water culture after they've been propagated. This is a good example of one right here. Um, it's just doing fantastic in water culture, but I want to point out here is the light. You can see how close to the light this is. See what I mean? Very, very bright light. All of these need very bright light. So I did a little experiment just to prove that point and make sure that I was on the right track. So these cuttings and these cuttings were in lower light. I'd say about three feet away from the light, the LED. Same bulb that I'm using here. Um, and I just wanna show you some things, some differences. So here is one cutting. It sprouted. It took a little bit longer to sprout, but also look at how leggy the new baby leaves are. It's really reaching for that light. Um, it doesn't look healthy, you know what I mean? It just kinda looks like it's struggling to reach for that light that's very uh, very far away. Here's the other one from the same, oop, from the same plant. Oop. All right, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm doing this with one hand, it's not working. Anyway, same situation with this one. You could see that one leaf, they were put in at the same time and it took a while. Sorry guys. All right, I'll put that back in a minute. Um, I have other cuttings here from a different Rex because I wanted to try it with different plants, different types, just to make sure that it was consistent, um, the results are consistent. This one doesn't have anything, okay? And you can see the leaf is really starting to break apart. It's not, it's drying up, it's not healthy. Um, that's definitely something uh, to take into account because the light is not only helping them propagate, but it's also keeping that leaf alive. And look at this one. This, this, this mother leaf has been uh, drying up as well. Not enough nutrients it's making from the light. And look at that baby. It's just, it's a, a, a baby plant, right? Really kind of small, only two leaves in this crown. And look at the root. It's like one or two roots. That's it. Just not ideal. You know what I mean? If you're gonna propagate, not ideal. So on the other side of things, these have also been propagated under these lights right here. So I don't even have to take them out. I could just show you. Look at the difference. This top cutting right there. See the little leaves? They're compact. They're not reaching too far. The root system is a lot better. Let me see if I could take it out so you could see it. I'd rather you guys be able to see this. Here we go. So it's not even a full leaf, but the leaf is still intact. It's not dying. See the difference with the mother leaf? And the babies look a lot healthier. They're, they're more firm. They're not as um, lanky and leggy. The root system is much better than those two little roots that were in the last cutting that we saw. So that's one. Let's take out another one and see. Same sort of situation here. The root system is much better and the crown is a little slow to start, but you could at least see that root system is really, really hefty, okay? And last but not least in this cutting here, whoa, look at that. Nice root system already. Sorry, I'm moving so much. It looks like there are three crowns, one, two, three started, maybe even a fourth one there, I'm not sure. But in addition to that, look at all the roots, and the roots are even growing up the petiole. <laughs> or sprouting from the petiole, the leaf stem. Mother leaf, doing just fine. It's not drying up like the others. So for a couple of different reasons, the bright light is really important. It's important to kickstart the propagation, at least from what I've seen. It really helps it happen faster. And it keeps the mother leaf alive so that it has the energy to push out those babies and the roots. 
So the brighter, I always say the brighter the light, the better, as long as actual sunlight from outside is not hitting the leaves, not hitting these cuttings, the brighter you can get the light, the better, the quicker your propagations. Um, yeah, you can see the difference. Just <laughs> these are really in need of some light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these guys here now under this light because now I've seen the proof is in the pudding. You know what I mean? They're, they're just not, they're not doing so well. So I'm going to leave them here to give them a little boost, kickstart. And <clears throat> I'm also working on another experiment, which I'm not going to get into now, but um, I will explain it once I get further along and I'll show you and we will continue moving forward. So, uh, but anyway, for now, that is, those are the results for this little experiment. Bright, bright light, even if it's just LED light, like this one here, so important to propagation. All of my propagations that you see here have been in nothing but this LED light. And you can see they're all thriving, they're growing, they're nice and lush. They even have some nice color starting. So uh, so definitely something to keep in mind when you're propagating your Rex begonias, even if you're growing them in a medium like um, sphagnum moss, or I don't use soil ever, <laughs> but you know, if you want to, you can. Um, or in the polyester yarn, whatever the case may be. I wanna see if I can find one to show you. Uh, I don't see one here, but uh, let's see. All of these were propagated in water and then placed into yarn. You can see they've grown really nice so far. Um, you've seen them before if you've been following, but I wanted to, oh, here, this is what, no, that's not what I wanted to show you. Mm, I thought I had one here, I guess not. I will have to show you. I transferred one of my water propagations from this dragon fruit into sphagnum moss because I'm giving sphagnum moss a try with as a growing medium, not just as a propagation uh, medium. So I will keep you posted on that as well. But I wanted to show you the propagation in sphagnum moss, which I have here somewhere. There's so many plants all over here <laughs> trying, to, trying to find one to show you. It is a challenge. All right, I will, oh, well, I'll show you these. These are the ones you've seen before, if you've been following. These were started in sphagnum moss. You could see the mother leaf is still down there. That's the big pink piece right there. And all these crowns grew, and these were in nothing but sphagnum moss. And I'm gonna keep them in sphagnum moss. Um, when they get a little bigger, I may sell them off to someone that wants them, but I, uh, I'm definitely gonna start using more moss for my propagations um, if I'm going to sell or replant them into soil, which I probably won't ever. But, you know, just in case the urge happens to fall upon me, I, I will have the option, an easier option. I can always pull them out of the, um, out of the acrylic, the yarn, and place them in soil if I wanted to. But I would lose a lot of roots because they, they like to grow into that yarn. So, so this would be the other option. But yeah, so propagating in moss, if you're not going to use the water or the acrylic method, I think is the next best thing to, um, to those two. And then you could transfer them to soil if you want to grow them in soil. I don't like putting things in soil, at least not propagations. They just don't work for me. Um, probably a lot of reasons why. But anyway, so yeah, really this is about the light and the differences in propagation with light levels. So if you have any questions about this or about propagating Rex begonias in different methods, just reach out because I love talking about it and I'm really learning a lot. It's been been over a year now, specifically with the Rex that I've been working with. Um, I've always had the Rex begonias, but it's been almost a year that I've been focusing on them for all these, this experimentation. So I've learned a lot. So if you have any questions, just reach out. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell if you want to be notified, and I will see you in the next video.